All right, waking up early this morning. I am preparing. Probably should have been preparing a long time ago. I tried to tell you. I will be running a 5K this morning, my first one ever. So this 30 by 30 is run for a cause. To get prepared, I'm just going to put together a small breakfast of some eggs, toast, and a little avocado. Last night I had some pasta, but I woke up feeling pretty hungry. So 5K is only about 3.1 miles. The most I've run is two miles. So you've never run three miles consistently? No. No, I haven't. I, I don't really have a, a time as my goal. My goal is to just not walk. So I wanna keep a steady pace and just never end up walking. So we're gonna get some eggs in me and then we're gonna go downstairs and stretch beforehand and then we'll shoot off. It's about 15 minute drive. If you don't hear that sound, take the egg off immediately. He watches too much Gordon Ramsay. Ha ha! Breakfast of a runner. We're gonna scarf this down, stretch it out a bit, and we'll be on our way. Yep. So we made it to the run. This run supports Epic Experience, which organizes outdoor adventures for people who have been diagnosed with cancer. So that is my run for a cause today. Let's go get signed in. Woo! It's May the 4th, so people will be dressed up in their finest Star Wars attire. 1077. We're about to start here in 20 minutes. Again, it's about 3.1 miles. Feeling uh, a little nervous, but I figure once I start running, I'll just be in the moment. I'm definitely gonna talk to myself, but it's not gonna be about, you know, keep going. It's probably just gonna be like, I wonder what I'm gonna do after this. I'll be keeping you updated along the run. We will start here and end here, so at some point we'll be turning around. Best advice, just run. So if I run each mile in nine minutes, it should take me about 27 minutes. I guess I'm just shooting for under 30. We just got told that it's actually two miles there, two miles back, so four miles. Uh-oh. This 30 minute is becoming more questionable. Seven minute miles. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. After the second mile's over, I'm just gonna be dying. Mind over body. Here we go. All right. About a mile in, one mile down. Feeling pretty good. Let's keep it going. Hey, right. I just hit the turnaround spot. Means I'm two miles down. Two more to go. Feeling good. Keeping a steady pace. Didn't stop for water because I felt like if I stopped, I'd lose my lose my pace. This is the key moment. Everyone else has started walking. They're getting burned out. I gotta just keep the pace that I'm on and I should be good. Just past mile three, getting pretty tired. So we're just gonna keep the pace and we'll be done soon. Let's get this done. Coming into the last leg of the run. Haven't walked, feels good. That last smile felt like the longest. So on this last leg, I might kick it into gear and finish strong. Let's go. Done. 42 minutes. That's like 10 minutes a mile. The time's not great, but we'll take it. I didn't walk the entire time except for the very beginning part. Feels good, a little tired, but I um, feel accomplished. For the first like two miles, I actually didn't think about anything. I was just breathing because it was cold, felt good. And then the last two miles coming back, I just keep telling myself, don't stop. Just keep your legs moving. Mind over body. Feels good. Another 30 by 30. Done.